Hey Stampin' Friends, Darlene with Darlene Stamps. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful June day, wherever the heat is in your world. Uh, we just got back from um, the south, so it was a little bit humid than I'm used to. Arizona is kind of dry, so it's a dry heat. But um, I want to show you some interesting layouts since we have a fruity time with our um, kit this month. And um, just some alternates in case you weren't quite as crazy as I was on the fruit. Um, my brain just went kind of south. <laughs> Not, no pun intended. Anyhow, so stay tuned. I'll show you some ideas. So what I did was um, took kind of the colors that are from the kit. One is Pool Party, which um, after I cut up my little card pieces, I wanted to layer that onto a Pool Party base. And then this was the pink ones that came in the kit. I just flipped it to use the white. And all I'm gonna do is to start building. Now I want to give you a little bit of a tidbit because I used the, um, um, the Country Flowers Set and Die uh, for this one. And I just, I took the, um, the um, die, used the base of that and made my little teapot. And um, so I have my teapot. There's the little, um, I get these nails cut, they're getting too much. Anyhow, I have my little um, stool it sits on. And then I have my plant that goes on top. And um, I didn't know if I wanted to use Miss You. So um, kind of have that in there. I think Miss You will fit better in there than the congrats. And then I have the little leaves in there. And so let me just um, do a quick glue on that. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, so ending product. So I decided to pop that up. I did not pop up the U, which really is kind of hard to see because it's against that white. So, you know, it's one of those things, but it still has the, the glitter to it. And so um, I did take the green leaves from the die set from the um, that set county uh, country flowers and just exchange the the uh, leaves from that so there's that one okay so I kind of went out of the box with this one I think the fruit's throwing me off I don't know anyhow um but I took the um a2 size I cut the pink and made it um this is the um pretty pink and I just cut the pink out to create my own layer because this is a retired in color Call Me Clover, which is kind of the same or similar to the um, Shy, 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 Shy Shamrock. Blech, that's kind of a tongue twister. So what I did was I took the card, cut the pink out, and then used this piece for my layer. So I will actually have my layer in here. And I have that. And then I wanted to pull the green out, so this will be my layer. And then um, if I do this piece, which is kind of a funky piece, but anyhow, I'm gonna do this piece. This comes from the uh, Artful artful um, layers and the die. So we're gonna put that in. I cut this in half so I can use it for multiple pieces. We have that in there, that in there, and then this is the, um, this time I was early, <laughs> this is the Every Celebration Dies. So this is very, very little. You see how that is? So I actually cut two, and I'm going to layer them, which will get my thickness, and then I have some pieces. So I'll be right back. I'll do all my gluing, and I'll show you the end result. So you can tell that the color complement it may not be the exact and this is way out of the box because I wanted to use my pieces I actually put one of the clear vellum leaves kind of sort of some top um, height over there um, but it allows to use the pieces and I did decide to pop that up just a little bit because it just needed a little bit of color in the middle 
So I have that. And then I'll, I got to have some of these from last month. They're the iridescent kind of uh, pieces. And so I have three of them on there. And then the birthday wish <clears throat> actually came from my um, artful layers. And here's happiest birthday wishes. And I just wanted to use that birthday wish since I have hooray birthday wishes. Um, so anyhow, but um, let's go through and I'll get you some alternates and we'll be right back. Okay, so I want to get have you get your catalog out. And I want you to first look at, it's on page um, 132. I've actually cut it out and put it into a page detector. This is the color wheel, which is really amazing because you can put colors together that you wouldn't ordinarily think would go well. So, for example, um, I want to show you this is the alternate. Um, so this is pool party. So pool party being right here. And then in next to that, or in the same buddy, is the shy shamrock, which is the leaves. And then if you jump across to the orange, you have peach pie, which is what this is. So so when you're doing your color wheel, you can go. You can go catty corner, sometimes you can go across, I mean, a, a diagonal, you can go in the middle and then kind of do a tri, trifecta kind of a look. Um, but that kind of put that card together that I wouldn't have normally looked at, but how, how well it kind of goes together. So then I want to show you out of the box, totally out of the box, because on page 34... You'll see the Mediterranean bloom, um, just very, very pretty. But I want you to look at this one right, sorry, right here. Do you see that? That actually is um, our piece we got in our kit, but it's the white side. So the shamrock was the other side, which would be with this. And I just flipped it to the white. Now, I wanted to get the, um, the cherries in, included, but I also wanted to use the sample that we, sh that we see right here. So if you look at my, my design, very similar to this design. And so what I did is I took the color wheel and I said, okay, I have, I have pool party, and who is his neighbor or his buddy? And that would be the pretty peacock. So I just use the buddy system, and that's what this. And that's is, this is from the um, the six by six um, um, colors that come in our our catalog when you use the DSP. And this is the neutral, so the background, and that's what I use for there. And then I have hello and the sweet friend. So that's kind of the sample. And then I took, because of all of our wonderful um, paper, and this kind of gave me the, the uh, inspiration, uh, and we have lemons, I took and did, I had gotten this paper already, and so I took and had some, this is kind of the um, grapefruit grove, so just a color I had in my stash, but it gave it a nice, background that kind of pulled from here and then did my garden green for my layer did my peaches in here and then the grats make sure that if I pop this up I put these on the end so that the whole thing is popped up so I glued it down and then popped up both of there there's that one then this one was um, just having the opportunity of putting together um, um, the lemons and then this is a boo-boo, but I took some of the of the pieces that came from these cutouts to cover that because I put this down to put the dimensionals and it got glue on the front. So yeah. Then all the pieces that um, came out of here, like the, the bones of it, I chopped those up. And so as you can see, I made a little layer behind there 
to give me kind of some dimension and add some bling to that. So that's what I did with that. So when you go through and you look at all of your designs, um, let me show you another one. This one is from our, our little stamp club that we have with Pumpkin. And they just did hello, hello. They had this purple already. Um, they used that pink piece that was in there in the kit. These are some pieces that came off of these corners. And then she had a little heart that she used the bones and cut out with the punch. And then hello, hello on there. So that was nice. She also did the same thing with this one, with the um, with the uh, designer paper, and this is um, Rich Razzleberry, and then of course the pink already in the frame, and then the uh, little sweet, so sweetly um, die for that, and then this one came from inspiration from Pinterest. So this is that paper again, or actually, no, no, no. This actually is the peach set, with the speed, um, retired, sorry. And then pumpkin as my layer. This kind of looks like it's folded over. Isn't that neat looking? And it actually has, on the corner here, it's raised. So um, it kind of looks like I folded over the paper, but it's just a piece cut. Did that one. This one is the uh, Pretty Peacock. Just some designer paper I had in my stash, old designer paper, and then Missing You put in there. And this is our peach pie. They kind of put a little bit from there, but I just kind of cut out that designer paper. Don't ever put, uh, pass up designer paper and how to uh, match this. This actually came from the same set as um, this. You can see the roses. It's just one's purple and one's kind of the coral and peach. So this one, I took that pink piece and made it into a basket with my little fruit in there. And then this one was um, kind of using our style, but I wanted to tone down the green from the blue. And so I did with the lemons. This one, um, I took the envelope and did our, um, our stamp, our stamp punch and cut those out, did the peach pie paper from it, and then filled that in with uh, this being, um, this actually is a pink, might be, might be pretty in pink. I didn't write it down. I know this is coral, so we got that. This one, I just did the cherry in there with the sample. And I didn't use the vellum. I wanted this background to really show on that. Then this is probably my last one um, from the from the set. And this one has um, this one has the kind of a trifold in it. But is, this is from last month's last month? No. This is from March and did my piece and this was a second piece because I stamped and it didn't turn out and that's a boo-boo so that's a glitter on there but see how it kind of um, hides behind that little peekaboo so use the background from a card have my cherries in there and then we have our sorry. so this one you've seen we got that one so anyhow as you look at your cards and try to make something from nothing because we have to kind of get outside the box and so we did use some um we did use some colors that weren't all already in our kit but um you have fun with this because um it really gives you an opportunity of using designer paper um using the color wheel like with this one and um anyhow if you don't have a demonstrator, I look at the opportunity of giving you these supplies at discount. So let me know and we can work on that and pumpkin. So have a great day. Have fun with this and I'll catch you next time.